Marcus. And we have a truck over there and uh, that's a signaling van. Let's follow this uh, rockets in the city. Joining a channel, I do biking and walking point of view films in the city. Today we're chasing the snow plows and in the middle of the night. We had a major storm so a couple of uh, nights ago. What a rocket is going on here. That's a major uh, snowblower action. It's not enough snow for that, but uh, let's we'll see. Got a truck there waiting to carry the snow away. And uh, all right, let's follow this guy. The sidewalk is super icy, actually. Super icy. I don't know what's going to happen to this guy's car. There we go. Guys are uh, hanging out in the middle of the night in a cold weather. About 10, minus 10 degrees Celsius in a city tonight. We're in Toronto, Canada, and we're having fun with the snow plows. All right, let me see if he hits this car. Probably not because he probably knows what he's doing. But we got the camera off the body cam. We got it in our hands so we can swing it around. Look at this gonna spray us with snow that'd be fun if he tries to says hey you want a good film let me spray you with some snow there you go I'm adding my own special effects crazy amount of rockets look at this all the snow is gone all right I'm gonna run to the front see what's going on all right stay with me we're gonna fast forward with you guys ultra speed let's go that's a massive pile These guys are pulling all the snow off the sidewalk, I guess, and putting them all the way in the street for the other guy to blow them into. It's a pretty big operation, actually. Let's try this guy. Come on. Wow. That looks like a lot of fun for the first couple of hours. It's about minus 10 degrees in Toronto, Canada. I'm uh, covering the snow plow operation on one of the streets of Toronto. I think it's one of the major streets in the city. This guy's skidding, super skidding. All right, that guy ate through all of that uh, snow. a little bit. Oh, 
Crazy noisy up here. That uh, snowplow was making crazy raucous. Look at this other big snowplow here too. It's massive. Here goes filled up truck, I guess. Yeah, full of snow. Wow. It's not kidding around. There's a grader up up, up the road too. I'm gonna go check that out. I got this grader park here I don't know what he's doing but we got a I guess he's doing the it's got a smiley face on the front of it I don't know if you can see it or not and uh, here we go we got another Bobcat here too we got Bobcat City we're gonna go back and uh, check out the the snowblower. So the bobcat pushes all the snow banks to the middle of the street, kind of. And this guy, I don't know what he does. Maybe make sure the snow doesn't go into the street too much. And then the blower comes along and blows the snow into a truck, and the truck takes it away. That's what the operation is. I remember about 20 years ago in toronto they had these um uh snow melters where the the truck would pick up the snow and then it will melt it in the back and it'll send it down the drain i don't know what happened they were pretty massive um uh situational trucks but i don't know what happened to them i guess they didn't work out maybe it was a scam or something but they just used them one year and that was the end of it of course you don't always get this much snow in the city so the banks are here and so they push the snow to the street and that guy comes and takes them away. Uh, let's go check out, we'll wait for another truck to come in and uh, cover some of that snow blowing into the truck. I think that's a pretty good image. I'm wearing my Gore-Tex pants. I'm wearing fingerless gloves on my uh, camera hand and ouch, it's cold. <laughs> Minus 10 degrees Celsius in a city probably feels like mine is 18 or something and these guys are working real hard real guys yeah, real guys that's the blade of the snowblower when it's not working is waiting for the truck to come in i just want to show the pretty massive blades no eat through any kind of snow all right here comes uh, another truck ready to go so this is the second truck actually i waited probably 10 minutes for the next truck to come in so they're not waiting And this is the aftermath of the removal. You still get some snow on the sidewalk like this, but I guess it's better than nothing. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this late night uh, fun. Snow plying with the crew in the city. We'll catch you in the next film. I guess this guy comes along and clears the whatever mess is left over. Ah, cool job. <laughs>